Our someone to know was the 30th Lieutenant Governor of Nevada and the first woman elected to that position. Despite a plane crash in 1990 that almost took her life, she went on to serve the Silver State in many significant ways. Meet Sue Wagner. It was in my first campaign. Sue Wagner began her political career in Nevada in 1975. Her love and respect for politics started early. It came from my dad, who was very involved in politics in the state of Maine, and we used to listen on the radio. Then as an adult, she tried it out for herself. I wasn't a good housewife and decided to run for office, but the assembly won. Wagner sat on the Nevada Assembly from 1975 to 1980. Then to the state Senate, and then I ran for lieutenant governor. It was while campaigning for that position in 1990 that Sue Wagner's life took a dramatic turn. That was in a plane crash at that time, so I broke my neck and spine. And it happened on the day before the primary vote. Wagner won the election and was still paralyzed when she was sworn in. My mother, my sister, my son, my daughter. Wagner did a lot of healing and held office as lieutenant governor until 1995, though she says the damage was done. It stopped my life <clears throat> from politics and my entire life thereafter. Limited but not deterred, Wagner went on to serve on the Nevada Gaming Commission from 1997 until 2009. To this day, Sue is devoted to women's rights. Supporting younger women, uh, that's my big effort, like the Nevada Women's Fund and a variety of other issues. In the home she has lived in since 1969, Wagner is surrounded by pictures of her loving family her late husband, her adult children, her quickly growing grandchildren. These days, she takes it easy. Probably just the same, enjoy my family. And Sue has this simple advice for young women. Get involved. Involved. In 2013, Sue Wagner was inducted into the Nevada State Senate Hall of Fame. In January 2014, she left the Republican Party. She is currently nonpartisan.